Hey guys, Kid Pool 67 again here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Funko Pop Five Nights at Freddy's Nightmare Foxy Pop. So this is the last pop I'll be reviewing until I will be able to pick up Cupcake or one of the other new Five Nights at Freddy's pops, which it's weird because GameStop doesn't even have Cupcake in their system. Like they're not going to get Cupcake when it's not supposed to be exclusive to anywhere, but yet people are only finding it at Hot Topic right now. But it's not supposed to be exclusive to any particular retailer, but I haven't found it anywhere, so... Might end up having to order it, and then I'll have to. I'll definitely probably have to order the chase because there's no way in hell I'll be able to find a chase in stores because that's pretty much impossible. But going right ahead and looking at the packaging on the front of the box, you can see it says Nightmare Foxy, and then has that horrid artwork of the pop, which I hate. I've always hated the artwork of Foxy and all the pops because it looks nothing like the pop. Like its weird jaw looks stupid to me. But then it says Funko Pop Games right there, Five Nights at Freddy's number 214 on the side of the packaging. You can see it says Funko Pop Games again. See more artwork of Nightmare Foxy right there, and it says Nightmare Foxy. On the back, you can show, see more artwork of him right there, Funko Pop Games, Five Nights at Freddy's Series 2. And then the rest of the wave, Cupcake, Nightmare Foxy, Nightmare Bonnie, and Nightmare Chica. On the side of the packaging, you can see it says Funko Pop Games, Nightmare Foxy. More artwork of the character right there. Then the bottom of the pop box, you can see it has all that tiny lettering. If you want to read part of that, you can pause it now. Then the side of the packaging, you can see more artwork of the character right there. And that says Funko Pop Games right there. But that's pretty much it for the packaging, guys. Let's go ahead and crack this guy open and take a closer look at him. Alright, guys. So this is definitely a very cool pop. I noticed how most of the Nightmare Pops, except Chica, they're all pretty much just re-sculpts of the first pop. Pretty much, except this one has, like, I don't know, now I'm looking at this, it actually has quite a bit different with the mott face, like, it doesn't have the two things sticking off, but go ahead and right away I'm going to compare it to the other Foxy Pops that I have. So right here he is, next to the classic Foxy, or the first Foxy Pop, and you can see it has some similarities. I guess it's actually surprisingly way different than I thought, like, when I first seen it I thought it would be pretty much exact same pop, except re-sculpted like Freddy is and um bonnie but it's actually really different compared to the first one you can see all the ter tears and detail and everything and comparing it to another foxy pop you can see here he is next to shadow or phantom foxy i keep calling him shadow foxy but yeah this is probably still my favorite foxy pop because i really think how i love how creepy it is right now i think it's definitely a really cool pop and then you can see with them like that you can see the nose is bigger and everything on this pop and then let me go ahead and go get another pop to compare him to. Alright guys, then here he is next to Funtime Foxy. I probably lied with the Phantom Foxy. This is actually probably my favorite Foxy, but I don't really count it as Foxy. I kind of more count it as Mangle, but I just really like how adorable this one looks. But yeah, this is definitely a very cool pop. This one and this one. But yeah. But yeah, they're about the same height. The ears are about exactly the same height when you put them next to each other. They scale well together, as all pops do, I guess. And then here he is next to a bajillion Foxies. These are all the Foxy Pops I have currently. Well, actually, no. I have, like, another extra one of these because the one I'm using in the review is actually the one that was screwed up, kind of, because he had a lot of paint flaws and everything. But, yeah, out of... Go ahead and vote in the comments. Out of these four Pops, which one is your favorite version of Foxy? I still need to get the Glow in the Dark Foxy and a couple other Foxies, but currently these are the ones that are way different from each other. But getting back to the Nightmare Foxy pop at hand, you can see he has a lot of detail this one does. He has the whole bare endoskeleton feet like the other one do, but his is way more detailed than the other ones because he has toes and looks more nightmare looking. A lot of detail on the legs and everything. Lots of tears in the shorts, and he has a big tear in his ch lower chest, or his belly. And then he has a hole up here in his chest. And he has a bunch of holes over around his arms. I've noticed this is actually one of the lesser screwed up pops compared to the rest of the ones, other than his face is more screwed up. But then you can see more tears around the other side of his body. I notice how they don't use as dark of a black color on his tears. Like, they do right here, but on his arms it's more of like a lighter brownish color. And then you can see more detail on the back of his shorts. It's got more holes. Then you can see another tear in his lower back. And then you can see two more holes in his back. 
On the other side, you can see he has the silver popping out for his joints, and then he has the hook hand right there. In the back of his head, you can see tears right there, and you can see the four bars, just like Chica, that hold the top of his head on. And then you can see holes in the back of his ears and everything, and the little tufts of, not hair, but wires that stick out the top of his head. And he has more holes right there. Then, finally looking at the front of the face, you can see his teeth are painted very nicely on mine. Well, not very nicely. There's a couple that are screwed up, like those two right there. But you can see it's painted very decently. And then his nose is painted pretty cool, too, with the whole um, wire thing he has going on. Or I don't even know how to explain it. The nose thing he has where he has all the fur missing off of his metal nose in the game. Then you can see he has the weird eye holes like he does in the game. And you can see he has yellow eyes. And he has that crack that's very well known in the game that goes all the way up his forehead then he has the wires again and then his, in his ears you can see he has the endoskeleton ears popping through the red ones and you can see a couple wires hanging out but yeah this is a very nice pop guys and then obviously just like all other pops he has a swivel on his neck but this pop is very nice I highly suggest it for anyone that's a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's I'm assuming that most Five Nights at Freddy's fans favorite characters are some of the nightmare ones because they are some of the cooler characters in my opinion I think the coolest characters out of all the games are probably the withered animatronics I'm really hoping I get a withered Bonnie pop someday because I think that'd be dope and then also the toy animatronics would be cool like Toy Chica and Toy Bonnie would be a cool pops to have and then they could have like a variant to Toy Chica with their beak missing so I think those would be really cool ones. If Funko, if you're or Funko, if you're watching, those are the pops I suggest you guys make sometime. But yeah, this is a very nice pop. It's probably one of the more detailed pops. Probably still the most detailed pop out of like all the Funko pops. It's probably actually Springtrap because that one's really detailed. But I can't wait for the sister location pops and everything too. Those look really cool. But that's pretty much it for this review, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like comment subscribe and click that notification bell if you do subscribe so you can so you get notified whenever i upload new content and thank you guys for watching and as always stay tuned for more videos by kid467 talk to you guys later talk to you guys later bye, -bye.